AG Bars provides you an advanced and highly customizable toolbar and menu system for the Silverlight platform. Using just one bar manager component, you can easily create and manage main menus, toolbars, and status bars that look and behave just like the ones found in Microsoft Office applications. The control also includes many built-in features such as toolbar, drag and drop, quick bar customization, and a UI customization dialog providing full control over the navigation system. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to get started using the AG Bars control and create a simple Silverlight application that contains a menu bar and a toolbar. So let's get started. I'll start with a new Silverlight application project. From the toolbox, I expand the DevExpress navigation and layout category and drop a new bar manager control. I'll resize it so it fills the entire page. From the properties pane, I can use the bars, categories, and items editors to create the menu and toolbar system. However, for this demo, I'll set everything up using XAML markup. I switch to the XAML editor and use a refactor pro feature to create an end tag for the bar manager. I'll set the horizontal alignment to left and the vertical alignment to top so the bars are positioned accordingly. Next, I'll create a bar manager items collection that will contain buttons and other items that can be displayed in a menu bar or toolbar. I'll start by creating a bar check item. The content text is set to bold and the name is specified accordingly. Since this will be placed on a toolbar, I want it to also display an icon. I'll use the glyph attribute to specify an image that I've already copied to my project folder. As this is a check item, the status of the button can be handled by using the checked changed event. I can follow similar steps to create a bar button item. I'll paste the code for two menu items. The content property specifies the main menu text. The item links collection includes references to the bar items I created earlier. Now I need to create the bars. I'll add the markup for a menu bar. This will be the main menu. So the is main menu property is set accordingly. I also want it to stretch across the whole application. So the use whole row property is set to true. The container is docked at the top of the bar manager and the menu will display the two bar sub items I created earlier. I'll follow similar steps to create a toolbar and display the bar check item. Finally, I'll use a simple text box control to fill the remaining area of the application. And I'm done. Let's run the application to see the results. You can see the menu and toolbar has been created. The bold item in the format menu is the same component as the bold button on the toolbar that's docked to the left. So when either one is clicked, the status is changed and the appropriate event is triggered. The built-in customization window can be invoked to customize the items displayed on the toolbar or hide bars as needed. And of course, the toolbar can be detached, moved around, and docked in a different position. For more information, please refer to the AG Bars documentation. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.